Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I popped into my local Sephora Valley recently and lo and behold, I saw that they had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrera Glow Kit. Now, let's try this again. So I popped into my local Sephora and I saw that they had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrera Glow Kit. Um, and I've seen this making the rounds around the YouTube channels and everyone's been raving about it. I haven't tried any of the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits. I did see them when I was last in New York and didn't end up picking up any, which I'm kind of regretting now. And since then, Anastasia has been just churning out those glow kits. There have been lots of different um, itinerations and of varying degrees. So some people really love all of them. Some people are kind of going quality's gone a little bit eh. So when I saw that my local Sephora had this, I couldn't resist and snapped it up straight away because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about and whether it's actually worth it. The only thing I know about this is that this is a collaboration with a YouTuber called Nicole Guerrero. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I could have just completely butchered it. So I don't actually watch her channel, but I really love this packaging. It's a pale pink, but it's got this little teeny tiny sparkles. It's kind of so glittery pink. It's absolutely really, really pretty. And you just have the cardboard sleeve, which I am now trying to slide out. There we go. Um, and all of the ingredients and information is on the back. Let me read this. So this is metallic powder highlighters for intense luminosity. Complementing shades can be layered together to brighten cheekbones and I can't say this word, decolletage or worn separately over eyelids, brow bones and inner corners of the eyes. So there is 4.5 grams or 16, 0 0.16 ounces each. And let's see, there's quite a few. I think there is like six different shades in here, if I'm not mistaken. And all of the information is on here. So I'm going to put that aside. And this is what the glow kit come, looks like. Um, it's just in the usual cardboard packaging. So I have had tried other Anastasia Beverly Hills products before. I love and adore her eyeshadow palettes, especially the uh, Master Palette by Mario. It is my all-time favorite at the moment. So I'm used to her packaging and it's just got her, her logo on there and then in... Ooh, that's really pretty. I just noticed that the lettering with Nicole's name on it is a... How do you say? It's like a rainbow metallic lettering, which is really cool. I like that. So, ooh, I've just got it. Lost losing things. Um, so when I opened it up, there was obviously a plastic um, sleeve that was just protecting everything. Ooh, pretty. This is what it looks like. And there's no mirror in here, which I don't really mind. Um, I don't tend to use mirrors in palettes. Um, actually, they would be quite useful now that I think about it. Occasionally, it would be useful to have a mirror. Um, but it's not a a breaking point for me. I don't really mind it. Um, I don't really buy things on basis of whether they have mirrors or not. And when you open it up, there is six highlighters in here, which is really cool. They look like really large pan as well, so they'll last you for a really long time. And I like the fact that from the get-go, I can see that there are multiple shades. And a lot of people, so from what I've seen on YouTube, a lot of people have been saying that the shades are a little bit darker um, than expected and some of them are much too dark to be highlighter shades because they tend to be paler or, or um, have like pale Caucasian skin. Whereas for me, I'm like, these are great because there are lots of different shades and my skin tends to be like a medium tan anyway. So darker shades like these will show up and I hope will look nice on me. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, with other palettes, I have found that most of the time they're a little bit too pale or just all kind of melds into one and all the shades look the same. So if you're gonna get a palette full of different highlighters, I want to see difference in color and in shades and in the intensity of the of the highlighters as well. So this this looks 
very cool from the get-go. Um, six shades. I like the fact that the shade names are on here as well. So I can see that there is Kitty Cat, which looks very pink. Forever Young, um, which is kind of this beigey, pale, silver tone running through there. Um, Daydream looks incredible. It is like a peachy pink. Um, I haven't seen any highlight shades with that tone before, so that's really cool. Forever Lit, um, I'm very, very excited about this shade because even though it's completely, it looks completely white in here, I can see sort of blue sparkle, so I'm kind of hoping that this is one of the duochrome colours. There is Glow Getter, which is your more traditional um, gold-toned highlighter, and then there's a shade called 143, which is a little bit more sort of bronzier I want to say um it's just like a slightly more tone slightly more cool toned than glow getter so between those two they look quite similar um but they look really cool anyway so um I'm excited to swatch these swatch all six of the highlighters um using my fingers and on the back of my hands and I think I might actually see if I can try some of them on my skin as well um and see what they look like and now is the time when I'm thinking I really need a mirror. So anyway, let's get to swatching. So let's go with Kitty Cat. Oh, that's really interesting. That is a beautiful shade, by the way. Um, so I can feel that they are a very creamy formula. Um, I think these are all, they are powder. Yeah, they're all powder highlighters, but they feel really creamy, which is really cool. Forever Young and then Daydream. So all I'm doing is just kind of circling um, a little bit. I'm not pressing very hard at all. And these are the three shades. So they're still quite pale. Um, you can see it from there and let's go. Oh wow. That is phenomenal payoff um especially kitty cat that looks amazing so i can see that they do look different but if you're going to shear them out they probably look quite similar and i'm just trying to see where the shades are so that is kitty cat and you can sort of see that it's got this pink shift in there followed by forever young which is a lot more silver much more cool tone than expected and then daydream which is that lovely little peachy color which I think looks really incredible that looks really really nice so I'm just going to um, clean my fingers off and I'm gonna swatch the other three so let's start swatching the bottom three um, highlighters there is forever lit oh that looks absolutely incredible like that is blinding followed by glow getter and then one four three so they're definitely a lot more warmer toned um and i really like that so forever lit glow glitter and one four three sorry so that's what they look like oh that is very very pretty these shades are incredible like i i can see why everyone was going absolutely nuts over the ABH glow kits. Um, I don't quite like jumping into trends um, and into into things where everyone is kind of like raving about them because I'm kind of thinking like are they being paid to do it or is it really that incredible but just from the swatches they do look absolutely incredible so I'm just cleaning my hands because I know that I'm gonna get them on my clothes and just swat taking them off and just look at that intensity so that is forever lit sorry i've got the shade names there we go so that is forever lit Come, there we go followed by glow getter and then that's one four three so you can see that they're very much warm toned um then they're a little bit different from each other which is nice to see and then those were the three that i initially swatched from the top row I don't know if we could see that beautiful color right there. There's definitely a little bit of a duochrome going. It's got that silver base with a blue shift in it and it just looks really cool. There we go. And those are the six shades together. They just look really, really nice. Um, super creamy, really great payoff. The colors are incredible and 
this this has made me really excited um i want to try them on now let's go i've got a brush with me i don't have a mirror so i can't really see anything i'm kind of hoping that i can see them on the screen um i've got my camera with me so maybe i can just take a picture so let's see i really want to try um what should i try Let's go with Daydream because I haven't seen a lot of that color before. So I'm just going to put, I've got the Real Techniques um, contour brush. I really like using this as a highlighter brush for whatever reason. Um, it just fits really well with me. So I'm going to just tap a couple of times, a few times, and then do that. That's a nice glow, isn't it? If you can see that, it's really nice. Let's do, do this again, and then I'm gonna put it, um, buff it on my arms and see what that looks like. Yeah. So it's definitely a lot more subtle um, when you buff it out with a brush, but I can definitely see a payoff, and it looks beautiful. Like, it's just that lovely little kind of shift right there which is really cool i think i like that i can definitely see it in the sunlight and the camera just there let's go with i'm going to use the same brush um i want to see what forever lit looks like i think i might do that on the other side of my cheeks and have, have two different colors which is going to look a bit weird um but let's go for it so let's pick that up I'm not actually in the light, so I can't... Actually, I can see that. What does that look like? I'm going to use my camera as a mirror. I could literally just go to my room and get a mirror, but... Oh, wow, okay. I can definitely see that. That is completely... I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera, but I can definitely see it. It's very, very blinding. Wow. That is incredible. I really like that. I can see the shade there as well. That's really pretty. I just call myself pretty, but you know. I really like that. That is so cool. Wow. Um, I just want to kind of keep going on. What else can I put on me? Um... Let's go with one, four, three. Again, tapping that. Yep, got a little highlight going on there. I'm not going to put it on my top of my lips because I've got a liquid lipstick on and I don't know whether it's transferring, so I'm not going to do that. But that looks cool. I'm really shiny now. <laughs> I really like that. That is incredible. Um, nothing bad to say, really. There are six shades in here. Um, I think it was, as with anything, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, a little bit pricey. I think overall, I'm going to try to find out what the price is in US dollars. Um, I think I paid about like 200, maybe 240 dirhams. Um, and that would account for like maybe 40, 40, 50 dollars I think this is going for. So I find out what the price is. I think this is actually really, really great product. Um, it's a great collaboration. I don't know Nicole, I don't watch her videos, but they are great shades. I love all of these shades. I think they work incredibly well. Um, on medium to darker skin tones, which is really nice to see because most of the time when you see collaborations, they're often with um, YouTuber or bloggers who are much paler and so you kind of just get the same tones. Whereas it's nice to see something that's a little bit more catered towards um, people of color, which I am. So it's nice to see something that would actually be a little bit different. Um, and I just love these shades. The formula feels incredible. They feel really creamy, really lovely to wear. I mean, the pigmentation, like just look at that. The pigmentation is fantastic. I think they look fantastic. The colors are great. So I don't really have 
anything bad. Um, yeah, so definitely thumbs up for this. I am definitely looking forward to continually using this as part of my makeup collection and that's all. <laughs> I'd love to hear if you've tried any of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Tell me which is your favourite or what is your favourite highlighter out there. I absolutely just love highlighters so it's really no surprise that I'll go pick up this one. Um, and don't forget if you like this video to click the thumbs up sign and click like below and I'll see you next time. So if you're new to this channel do subscribe um, and let me know what you'd like to see next time. I am an avid makeup addict. I love buying makeup. I love trying makeup. So if there's anything that you think you'd like to see me try, do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!